What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Caps move side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. I do, I do, I do. -hoo. It's my bed head look. Just saying, just saying. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so it's 10.44 a.m., 11.20 of 2022. I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do. -hoo. Okay, so um, <clears throat> this is Daily P for 11.20 of 2022. Um, I might do some more readings today. I might do weekly readings possibly today. Um, just to let y'all know, possibly, okay? Um, congratulations on Kiara. Kiara, Kiara, however you say her name. Southern Mystic getting her old channel back. Congratulations, ma'am. Just saying, just saying. And Honey X Scorpio, I hope you're okay, ma'am. Your channel's just been completely taken off. Many people are worried about you. I hope you're okay. Okay. So, um, all right. So, the channel message I received was a low vibrational Libra masculine and a Libra femme realize now, they realize now that they um, went after, um, they went after the wrong feminine energy. Um, that's what I heard so far. So a low vibrational masculine, Libra masculine, and a low vibrational Libra femme. So they don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values, whoever they are. It's at least two energies in the universe, low vibrational Libras, um, masculine and femme. They realize now they didn't realize it in the past, but they realize it now that they ran out, went after the wrong femme energy. I heard for the low vibrational Libra femme, they did it strictly out of jealousy and greed. Um, I heard it was all about money and it was about um, fear of the feminine energy um, um, being with another masculine energy that she is obsessed with. Um but I heard it has backfired and it will continue to backfire. I haven't heard much on the masculine yet. So you plug it in how it resonates. So there's two of them, a low vibrational Libra femme and a low vibrational Libra masculine. Sorry, I'm freezing. Um, the Libra femme, she went, af went after very sneakily behind the scenes, but it's about to catch up with her in a huge way. Okay, so she went after this femme energy. You could be the Fib Energy, ma'am. You have to plug yourself in and refit. We have the low vibrational Libra masculine, Libra Fem, and the low bar in uh, the high vibrational Fem she went after. Um, I didn't hear a sign on you, ma'am, whoever she went after, but she went after you strictly for jealousy and greed. So she was jealous of you, and it was about money. If she went after you, ma'am, over here, high vibrational Fem energy. It was strictly about jealousy and greed and fear that you would be with a particular masculine energy that she is obsessed with but i heard it has backfired on her and it will continue to backfire meaning i think she thought you were going to get with or you were with some masculine energy that she's obsessed with but you're not you have never been with this person ever and have never wanted to be with this person okay our femme energy, I heard you have never been with this person, the masculine energy that she thought you were with or thought you were going to get with or sounds like a bunch of drama if you ask me, but it is. But I heard you never been with him. you never been with him and you never wanted to be with him. So, um, and it was about jealousy about that dude, which is very low vibrational energy and about money. But it has backfired on her and it will continue backfiring, meaning I think he's with somebody else. And I didn't hear that, but intuitively, I feel that. And that's just the truth. He gets what he, he, gets what he wants, very secret, in the romance department. Okay, it's confirmation. He gets what he wants, very secret, in the romance department. So he gets what he wants, but he does it very secretly in the romance department, so he likes to keep it secret. Secret sleuth, which some people, they keep their rendezvous secret. I mean, I don't judge anybody, but that's not how I live my life, and that's just damn truth. If I'm with you, it's going to be public, and it's going to be known, and that's just the truth. I haven't been with anybody in a long, long time. I haven't even dated. 
But as far as a relationship, if we're together, it would be public. If I was with anybody, but I'm not. And I haven't been for a long time. But this guy, apparently, likes to keep it secret. Like secret sleuth energy. Uh, I heard he gets what he, he gets what he wants. But it's not you, ma'am. It's not you. And uh, it's somebody else. But this Libra Femme, low vibrational Libra Femme, thought it was you. Thought it was you, so she went after you. Um, very secret behind the scenes. And uh, it has backfired on her, and it will continue to backfire. So, you plugged it in, how it resonated. The Libra masculine, he thought he was going to abuse you and withhold information and entrap you, but that has not worked. He thought getting you out of the way was the best way and then come back, but that's not going to work. Backfiring. He was secretly behind the scenes with somebody else trying to get you out of the way. Oh, and that has backfired on him. His choice in love does not want him. Oh, okay. Whoa, this is some low vibrational, nasty energy. Oh, okay. So, the Libra masculine for you, uh, and your fem energy, and your fem energy, and your fem energy over here too. So, the Libra masculine and your fem energy too, ma'am, if this resonates for you. He thought he was going to get you out of the way. And then come back. He thought he was going to isolate you and abuse you and get you out of the way because he had another love interest in mind. Um, so he thought by abusing you and withholding information and getting you out of the way was the best option for him in love for another partner. But I heard the partner don't want him. It has backfired on him and the love partner does not want him. And I didn't hear a sign on who this partner is, but... Partner doesn't want him, so it sounds like they've already broken up, or they're about to break up, or they've separated, or something. But they thought they were just going to put you to the wayside, ma'am. Put you, I heard, withholding information from you. So he thought withholding information from you, abusing you, and pushing you to the wayside was his best strategic option. So he could have the other partner to get you out of the way to have the other partner and to benefit him. But... It has backfired on him, and I heard it will continue to backfire because I heard the other partner don't want him. They don't want him, and um, and it's left you abused. Um, and I and I'm sure you don't want want him either. You most certainly do not want you uh, want him. You most certainly do not want him. You most certainly do not want him. Yeah, I'm sure you don't because he abused you, withheld information from you, and abused you all for another love interest. But now the love interest either already doesn't want him. Or is about not to want him. Confirmation from my kitty. And that's my kitty. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, that's what they get for playing dirty little games. And that's just the truth. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's You shouldn't treat anybody that way all for supposed love. All this was in the name of supposed love, but it's really not. I mean... There's a huge difference, if anybody needs to hear this, there's a huge difference of obsession, which is mental health issues. And this chickadoo, low vibrational Libra fam, is obsessed with this dude over here. But he's getting what he wants secretly, because that's the way he likes to roll his game. And, hey, he can do it, if that's what he wants to do. But obsession is not healthy. That's not healthy. Withholding information and abusing somebody is not healthy. Either of these people, they're not healthy. They're just not healthy. And that's just the truth. They're not healthy. Healthy. They're not healthy. They're not healthy. They're not healthy mentally when it comes to views of love and dating. And that's just the truth. Um, dating should be done. If you want to date, date. If you want to be in a relationship, be in a relationship. There has to be open, honest communication. And that's just the truth. These people thought by... Um, Abusing people, apparently, financially, all about money and jealousy and greed and uh, with the low vibrational Libra Femme and the obsession over this dude that he she thought was with you, ma'am, and you've never even been with this person nor want them, that's not healthy. The low vibrational Libra masculine trying to just 
cart you out of the way because another partner, um, prospective love partner that doesn't even want him now or is about not to want him, but yet he withheld information from you and abused you. What do you have to do with any of this? And that's just the truth. You have never been with either of these people, nor want to be with any of these uh, either of these people, and it's about to hugely backfire on them. Already has backfired on them. Okay, I heard you have never wanted to be with either of these people, ma'am. So I think you might be the same feminine energy for some of these. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. But I heard you never wanted to be with either of these people. The the low vibrational Libra fan um, that this dude that this low vibrational Libra fan wanted. Or once, or what have you, what have you, or the love virtually for masculine, you wanted to be with neither one of them. And I'm assuming this is heterosexual here. Just saying. You know, you didn't want to be with either one of them. The dude that she wants, or wanted, or whatever, whatever, and this love virtual for masculine. You never want to be with either one of them. Heard it's already backfired on them, but it will continue to backfire. Well, it should, energetically, because that's just not right. And that's just the truth. I believe people should be able to live life the way they want to live it. Now, if they choose to live it high vibrational or low vibrational, that's on them. If they choose to get karma, that's on them. But you shouldn't try to block people's opportunities and blessings. And apparently there was theft in here with this low vibrational Libra Femme because it was about money and jealousy and greed and this dude. So there was theft in there with her. I mean, you shouldn't steal. That's financial abuse. If you might need to hear that. Your message is your point. Success. Her take it upright. Manifesting dream. Number 34 or 46 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 34 or 46 it be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Her take it 34, 46, 39. We have success, manifesting dreams, and leadership. Thirty-four, forty-six, thirty-nine. Success, manifesting dreams, and leadership. Feminine energy, you are about to be very successful through many series of chain events, many shocking series of chain events. Someone you would have never expected from your past is about to, behind the scenes, put a very good word in for you. They, they didn't in the past. They didn't in the past. One because of your sister, one because of a former boss. But they're about to. And it's about to create, open up huge doors for you, lots of opportunities. And you're about to have lots of options in career. About to get very unexpected phone calls, emails, and communication. Your career is about to take off in a very positive way. You plug it in how it resonates, ma'am. Okay, so there's a masculine energy, and I think it, okay, so we're pulling in two, well, three energies. The Libra masculine, low vibrational Libra masculine, low vibrational Libra femme that basically screwed you over in the past, ma'am. And this dude that this Libra femme has been just freaking obsessed with, and I didn't hear a sign on him. He has to plug himself in where he fits, but. I feel that song, why are you so obsessed with me, boy, you ought to know. Ugh. Just saying. Connections should come naturally. They should come naturally through, they should come naturally with um, similar energetic um, fields and uh, 
similar goals and dreams and aspirations, similar mindsets, somebody that's on the same intellectual, mental, physical, sexual level as you. I mean, all that should be natural. None of this shit is natural, and that's just the truth. And it's called weird, weird, it's called extreme weirdness and strangeness in the freaking energetic space. But it sounds like there are many series of chain of events, ma'am. It's about to be balanced out for you. Um, but anyway, so, okay, so I, we have the love vibrational Libra masculine, love vibrational Libra femme, and then that masculine energy she's so freaking obsessed with or was. But how that resonates, there's a masculine energy of your past, and I strongly feel it might be this person for some of you guys. For some, it might be another uh, person, but we're pulling this person in too. So I feel it for some, it might be this person. But however that resonates, there's some masculine energy in your past professionally that really worked against you, like, really badly. One, it was because of former boss in the past. One, it was because your sister. One, it could be because of both. And for some of you guys, I feel your sister could be that low vibrational leap of family. But you plug it in how it resonates. But whoever this masculine energy of your past is that worked very heavily against you in the professional realm in the past, either because of your sister, a former boss, or both, He's about to start um, helping you out behind the scenes now. So I'm thinking it might be a referral energy type situation, either a referral energy or a good word, which would be like a referral or something of that nature. Um, how does it resonate? Maybe he put your name in the hat and you don't expect him to put your name in the hat. Maybe he says something positive about you to a very high connect and you have no clue he's doing it. Um, but I heard he worked against you for years, for years in the past, professionally. So he wanted to block your money, your success, your fame, your notoriety because of your low vibrational sister or your low vibrational boss or both. But now he's going to start working with you. I think he's built himself. I think he's leveled up professionally. Um, and he's about to pay it forward to you is what I feel. I don't feel you were ever, sex, ever sexually connected to him or romantically connected to him. You most certainly were not. Okay, it's confirmation. You most certainly were not. So you most certainly were not romantically connected to him or professionally connected to him. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not professionally. You were not romantically or sexually connected to him. But he is a person in your past, and I feel in workspace. But he's about to pay it forward to you. I heard you're about to start getting lots of opportunities. I heard text and... Um, not text. I heard emails and um, phone calls and other communication. So that could be snail mail. That could be text. I heard specifically emails and phone calls. And it could be snail mail. It could be text. But you're about to have lots of options in some kind of professional situation here. When you once did not, I feel. I feel you were blocked. You were seriously blocked in the past. And he had a lot to do with it. Okay, I heard you were seriously blocked in the past, but he had a lot to do with it. You were seriously blocked in the past. He had a lot to do with it, but now he's about, I guess he's changed his mindset or he's about to change his mindset. How that resonates and applies, ma'am. So success, manifesting dreams, and leadership. I feel you are a leader and he knows you're a leader. He knows you most certainly are. You, you helped him become a good leader in a lot of ways. Okay. I heard uh, he knows you're a good leader. He knows you're a good leader, and I heard you helped him become a good leader in a lot of ways. But you were never romantically connected to him or sexually connected to him. But his, your nasty-ass little sister has been apparently energetically latched to his ass for years or your old boss. And they apparently can't stand you. And that's just the truth. But he's about to help you out. I heard you were never romantically or sexually connected to him. But he knows you're a good leader because he's been around you. So he's seen your leadership skills. Or he's seen the potential leadership skills. And he knows you are. So you plug it in how it resonates. But he's about to do this behind the scenes. So whatever opportunities you're about to get here, I don't think you're going to end up working with him or being around him. I just think he knows other people. And he's about to put your name in the hat or refer to you or, or something. Or recommend your resume or something uh, to somebody. Um, not around him to where you can go out and flourish because something there's some kind of weird connection between him and your sister and your old boss so I don't think you being around him is going to be good 
or you obviously being around the weird sister, low viral sister or the boss, old boss would be good. So it, I think it's new people. New people. New people. New people is what I just heard. So, I mean, these are really wonderful cards. So, new people. Success, manifesting dreams, and leadership. So, you'll be able to be successful to manifest your dreams. And I think you are a leadership. I mean, you're a leader in whatever profession you're in. Or, this might be a leadership position. You're, um, because it sounds like it's two or two plus opportunities about to come towards you, ma'am. It's either going to be a leadership position or you're a leader in your field to where you're going to be able to showcase your skills, talents, and abilities. Um, and be able to manifest your dreams and become successful is what I feel. You're a definite leader. Very, very, a huge leader, very, a huge leader, strong leadership skills. All right, that's double confirmation. You're a huge leader and strong leadership skills. So, and you're going to have success in manifesting your dreams. That's really beautiful, ma'am. All right. He's doing this to decrease his karma from the past. And he has racked up a lot of it. He's doing this to decrease his karma of the past, and he has racked up a lot of it. So this, just know, ma'am, he, one, he's going to do this behind the scenes. Two, you used to work with him in some kind of professional situation. I'll tell you that. Um, used to work with him in some kind of professional situation, and he's doing this to decrease his karma with you for blocking you all those years, um, blocking your job opportunities, blocking your success, blocking your leadership, ten, um, either potential or known leadership qualities, how that resonates and applies. But he's doing this to decrease his karma, and I heard he's racked up a lot of it, so... But he's going to do it behind the scenes, and whatever this is, it's new people to, I think, you, and it's he's not going to be directly involved in this, I'm feeling. Um, will not. <clears throat> will not. He cannot be around you now because of a lawsuit, and he knows this. Okay. I heard he cannot be around you now because of a lawsuit, and he knows this. So, he's going to do all this behind the scenes, but I heard he cannot be around you now because of a lawsuit, and he knows this. So, um, he's going to do all this behind the scenes, but he's only, he's doing it, just no, ma'am, he's doing this because he's racked up a lot of karma for basically blocking your success, your fame, your leadership, skills, talents, abilities, what you have to offer to the universe. Um, and he's racked up a lot of karma because of it. So, he's trying to decrease his um, karmic debt, basically. Um, and he knows he cannot be around you now because of a lawsuit. So I think you might be afraid you would place a lawsuit on him or somebody else would place a lawsuit on him. How that resonates with us. All right. I love you guys. I hope you're self and I'm a self.